the screw house and we got a cassette that you can, you know, ride around. They got a real tape. <laughs> you can go to the store and yeah, get it. Yeah, but I don't know how much money they making off of. I don't even care. <laughs> I know that people are just talking about, man, they hot. You know, I'm packing for the store. So. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. We knocked that out. And, um, man, the album, man, I'm... This is the first album in a long time that I was extremely proud of. Not saying that I wasn't proud of the rest. I was extremely proud of the effort that I put in it. Everything I done from the photo shoot to the videos to the legend party to the sway. I got 85 South coming up. Oh, Boss Talk Podcast. Talk I got everything. And just my effort that I put back into it made me feel good about it. Did a great job, man. Yeah. Hey, man, we love you, brother. Appreciate you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, this big love over here. Before for, for you go. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Before you go, let me get this and let y'all out. Man, we love Dallas. It's, I think this, um, the way we do music is different from them because we, like we say, we came from the screw tape era. And just to be honest, our screw tapes didn't go that way Mm. as hard as they. I tell people this all the time. Dallas is a very big market. And their market is more up. If you notice, and I would love for them, a lot of Dallas artists don't do a lot of shows here. Mm-hmm. Or Austin, but they go they up. Go. Mm-hmm. Oklahoma, Arkansas, that way, which is great. Because to be honest, when you're trying to get a deal, you need to break the but Dallas market a little bit faster than you break it. The deal, the the majors love the Dallas market. It's just that I, I think we had more in based on the screw tape era, we had more individual legend it's more of a legend city you know what i'm saying uh, all these different and and our our um our fan base really follow us very very hard you know what i'm saying i don't from a standpoint i don't know if dallas fan base followed the dallas artists as hard as the houston fan base mm-hmm. followed the houston artists so we don't have a dallas Houston thing, you know what I'm saying? I was in Dallas last week. I loved that. I was was there Memphis. a lot of collaborations between artists here and artists in Dallas? I don't really see that a lot. Not a lot, because like I say, their music it's wasn't different. really coming here, and we have a we go that like for instance, I tell Pokey, Pokey wasn't a guy that did a lot of Dallas. He always messed with me. Dallas love you. <laughs> I love Dallas. I go to Dallas a lot. You know what I'm saying? I go to Dallas a lot, a lot. Slim goes to Dallas a lot. Swish House got a good movement in that. So it's all about the 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 music. You know what I'm saying? How it transitions together. Like for instance, the um we did more we did more probably with Louisiana artists mm-hmm. because they're closer and we we're more tied to them. But the point I'm trying to make it, it's not a it's not a beef thing. Like right. we don't like it. We just like 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 for instance, man. Different. We we embrace when 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 Yellow had his movement. Trap boy for me and Chief got a whole album. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me and Chief got a whole album. I go to Funky Town a lot. It's just I think that like Big Tut. I'm down with all of them. We just didn't get a chance to mesh music together as we were going. Like our era is a little bit before them, and um. But but from the standpoint, no beef though. Do you, I, I, no. do you think Screw will ever come back? I don't say that it left. Let me just. I'm glad you asked that question because mm-hmm. I can answer that for you. Yeah, I'm gonna be real with you. When when Screw, listen, it's I'm a UGK. Listen, let me say this. I'm a UGK fan, right? Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And. When Screw came, you know that that hey, riding dirty, you know mm-hmm. you know what it is. That's when the when the when, you know you start hearing, you start hearing that that y'all was saucing it up over here. Mm-hmm. You know I'm telling it now. Yeah. I'm an old nigga, so I'm watching everything now. <laughs> Super tight and all that. We were kicking it. I, I tell me something good, nigga. I was at the Dangerfield. I always tell the story. Track me, but when it hit that riding dirty era. It was. It became real, real Texas, like Houston screw back drop man. And how did that? that that's something I would like to know. Like, what do you think? How did that happen? I know they were signed to Jive, but how did this? How did that sauce up like that? Them Texas, they real Texas boy though. You know no, I know that. So, I know so, y'all. It ain't but our street. But so, I'm just so, saying, it, they will. It, it became a DJ screw, I guess, and they locked in. Or how did that happen? You see what I'm saying, man. They admired us as much as we admired them. Idea. Man. That's just the truth. They were bigger than us as far not what I mean by bigger than us. I used to look up to them for this. They got a real tape. See, <laughs> see, 
uh, rapping, talking about a tape, and having the real tape was two different things. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? See, it wasn't about money for me back then. Man, they got a real tape. I want a tape. I want a, <laughs> man, you can go to Soundwave and buy a tape. Yeah, yeah. You I want that. Music. It was something music, something music city. Music, music. Uh, uh, yeah. Soundwave. Yeah, it was. Yeah. A, a music yeah. asset, Soundwave, yeah, yeah. music city. Hey, listen, big music. I was like, yeah, you can hey, go listen. buy it. This was serious. <laughs> You know, this is real tape. Man, we go in the screw house and we got a cassette that you can, you know, ride on. They got a real tape. (laughs) (laughs) You can go to the store and get it. Yeah, I don't know how much money they making off of. I don't even care. (laughs) I know that people is talking about, man, they hot. You know, pocket full of stone. So so the thing about it, man, is we we come like I think, man, how we all suffered because we wasn't had the assets to the bigger thing, we really out the mud. We really people thinking this clean, man. We out the trunking for real. You know what I'm saying? We really doing it like that. So I admired them as far as what they done. It, it didn't matter if they was with job or whatever. They was just learning the game. They could have been much, much bigger. But you gotta understand, we coming from a situation of of they trying to learn the business. They didn't came from being with big time records, and now they over here with job. They doing this here, and a lot of times, man, these companies always try to come change you who we were you may sign you but it's here but then they come trying to change so i think man that one of the factors for ugk was just staying them underground kings and 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 being who they were so them hooking up with us they they admired us we admired them we were listening to their tapes and man they wouldn't they were knocking on screw though this is what i'm telling you our tapes were full of culture you ain't got no choice but to get some shit out of there and be talking about it. We talking about it in there. Yeah. We talking about yeah. everything we doing. We drinking, we smoking, we riding, we holding, we candy. We That's what made us so big because our tapes and these freestyles, man, we just rapping about our streets, our stars, our cars, and what's happening. And people loving it, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.